Hello, everyone, and welcome to podcast nine and three quarters, a Potter podcast. I'm your host, the Half-Blood Princess. Today, I'm going to cover why Queenie turns against Grindelwald in Fantastic Beasts 3. But before we get started, if you love Harry Potter as much as I do, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Queenie finally turned against the dark wizard Grindelwald and reunited with Jacob at the end of Fantastic Beasts 3. But her motivations were not always clear. Both Queenie and Jacob have relationships with other characters throughout the series, but their love story is their prime character arcs. Their relationship faced a lot of obstacles from the start due to Jacob being a muggle. In the second film, Crimes of Grindelwald, Queenie wants to marry Jacob, and they face their biggest test yet, because Jacob is afraid that she will be arrested for their illegal relationship. Grindelwald has a rally in Paris and lets everyone know that once he rules, everyone can love who they want. And despite Jacob's protests, Queenie believes what Grindelwald is saying and joins Grindelwald, leaving Jacob behind. Queenie follows Grindelwald for most of the third film, Secrets of Dumbledore. But at the end, just before the walk of the Chillin' ceremony, she turns against Grindelwald and rejoins Jacob. With everything going on in the film, there's not much time to really see what motivates Queenie to make the decision to rejoin Jacob, but it's most likely due to Grindelwald not fulfilling his promises about both love and nonviolence. The main reason Queenie changed sides in Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, was because she still loved Jacob. When Queenie originally joined Grindelwald, she did so because she thought he could give her a way to be with Jacob. However, during her time among Grindelwald's forces, Queenie probably learned how Grindelwald and his followers actually viewed muggles. Although Grindelwald had stated at his rally in Fantastic Beasts 2 that he did not view muggles as less valuable than wizards, he made it clear in Fantastic Beasts 3 that he wanted to destroy the muggle world, which would include Jacob. Realizing that Grindelwald would not help her and Jacob be together, Queenie decided to turn on Grindelwald and help Jacob, who immediately accepted her back. Also, the third film highlights how Grindelwald is much more violent than Queenie had expected. For example, she watched from the shadows in horror as Grindelwald killed the baby Chillin. Due to this, Queenie was mainly staying with Grindelwald out of fear. However, Queenie's love for Jacob was greater than her fear of Grindelwald, pushing her to turn against him to protect Jacob in Fantastic Beasts 3. Let me know in the comment section what you thought of Queenie in Fantastic Beasts 3, and be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, love you. Bye.